Hey everyone. Today's Tuesday tip is a question that I get asked often, typically from first time home buyers, but certainly from anybody looking to buy a house. And the question is, how much below asking price should we offer? Uh, buyers wanna know what that standard percentage is that you should start with for an offer. In fact, a quick Google search will pull up tons of different articles. I found one on realtor.com of all places that suggests 25% below asking price is what you should offer. That is below me. That's not true. That's not what you should do. And here's why. First of all, you have to take it on a case by case scenario. If a home is overpriced, the market's going to speak to us. The market's going to let us know. A home is typically overpriced if it's sat on the market for a long time. And that's not always true. Market conditions change and shift. In our current market though, um, you know, you gotta have some means of justification. As your realtor, I am not going to go in with a lowball offer just because. Now, if we can say, look, the neighbor's house sold for 10K less and it had a finished basement and yours didn't, this is why we're offering what we're offering. You've gotta have some justification. Here's the other thing, timing. It's all about timing. If a house just hit the market and you go in on day one trying to offer 25% below asking price, they're probably going to give you a big fat no. If it were my seller, I would probably tell them to give you a full price counter offer. Because you're not going to, that doesn't make sense. Why would they? If they wanted to sell it for that, we would have listed it for that in the first place unless there are means of justification for that lower offer. So there's no standard percentage point that you should offer below. It's all based on current market conditions, the condition of the house, comparables in the market, and also how much do you love the house? If you feel that the home is priced correctly, even if it's been on the market for a couple of months, if we can justify that price and you feel the home is worth that, is it worth risking losing the house over $5,000 when that's amortized over 30 years? It makes about a, what, $5, $10 a month difference. So there are a lot of different things that play into that answer of what you should offer. Um, if you're working with me, I will definitely advise you and guide you into what I think the best is. If you just wanna to offer to see if you can get it for that price and if you lose the house, then you lose the house and you move on, then absolutely, let's offer lower than what we think we'll get it for. But if you love that house and you don't wanna miss out on it, come in with a good solid offer because it'd be a shame to lose it over a few thousand dollars.